Now, here's more of the Brian Beatty Real Estate Show. Here's your host, Brian Beatty. Welcome back, folks, as uh, the Brian Beatty Real Estate Show continues here on the Big Talker 1250 WTMA and WTMA.com. Uh, we've got a few minutes left, and I really want to get to some of these creative solutions and what I think is necessary for folks to sell their home for the most money possible or net the most money possible in this type of environment. And there are going to be a few caveats to this, just as an oh, by the way, right? We have some sellers we're working with right now that are in newer construction communities, right? There are still homes being built. Maybe the same floor plan is being built as what you currently own and want to sell. Maybe you bought a home two years ago. We're seeing a lot of homes that are on the market that have been owned for you know, two to three years, a lot more than normal. So if you're competing with a builder, what's the big thing that builders are doing right now? They're offering incentives and they're offering lower interest rates, locked interest rates. So if you're a seller, first thing I'm going to say is be mindful of the payment shock buyers have right now as it relates to owning a home. One way of combating that is by offering a 2-1 rate buy-down, which is what David Stein of Crown Home Mortgage and I were talking about earlier on in the program. So if you lock in at, let's say, a 7.5% interest rate, a 2-1 rate buy-down means that for the first year, your interest rate is two points lower, 5.5%. The next year, 6.5%. The third year, it goes to 7.5%. And the hope, of course, is that by then, interest rates are not at 7.5%, they're lower. So offering incentives and being mindful of the payment shock that buyers are experiencing right now and the lack of cash that they have on hand. You either have people that are just like flush with cash and they're going to buy a property cash, or you have people that are scr- like really struggling to come up with the down payment needed uh, and the closing costs needed to purchase a home. Maybe they afford, they can afford it, right? They've got enough income. They just don't have the cash. And I was you know, mentioning earlier how you know, we now have a, a trillion dollars in credit card debt here nationally. We've got $17 trillion in household debt. We need to find some ways to be creative. So we've talked about assumable mortgages as well. I think that's something for you to very seriously look into, but really with a fine tooth comb. Because if let's say you're a VA and you're going to allow somebody to assume your current mortgage, that means that you can't use eligibility benefits when you go and you purchase another home. Maybe you own two homes and you're going to move into the other one. There, there Again, like I mentioned, there are some caveats here. I will also say that now more than in the past several years, it is incredibly important. It's critical that you work with a real estate agent that understands marketing and not just understands it, but has the ability to market your home to people directly. And I know for, you know a lot of folks have listened to this show for a long time and you know that I kind of harp on this, but this is a big differentiator between me and a lot of other real estate agents, just to be blunt. We have the ability to proactively market your home to buyers. Demographically, geographically, we can say, all right, we think this home would be a great home for fill in the blank type of buyer. Of course, being mindful with fair housing, uh, which should go without saying, but I guess I have to add those types of caveats these days. But we we can say, all right, well, if this is the type of buyer that we're looking for, then I want to know of that group of people who have been online, who has searched for real estate in this area in the past six months in this price range, and who is displaying online behavior that leads us to believe they're getting ready to make a purchase. Like as an example, if, you know, we're trying to target a relocating buyer and one of our criteria is who has researched schools in this area in which that search originated from a different zip code, that's a pretty telltale sign they're gearing up for a move. And there are hundreds of different combinations and ways that we can identify and then directly market to these buyers. But that is something that I would really hone in on if I were a seller interviewing somebody to sell my house. What are you going to do specifically and proactively to find buyers for my house? Because the reality is most agents have a reactive marketing plan. It goes in the MLS. It then syndicates to all these different websites. Maybe they put it on their own personal Facebook page, which is just broadcasting the home to people they already know that are probably not buyers for that house, right? They put a sign in the yard. They do an open house. I mean, that's, that's, that's about it. And agents let's be honest, are struggling right now, so they're very budget conscious. I know a lot of people that are cutting serious parts of their business off to survive. This is an opportunity for the people that have been in the game for a long time to double down and 
basically create more market share by being one of the few that offers more services than the next. You couple that with the low interest, or I'm sorry, the low commission rates that we're offering people, we go down to 2.4%. Actually, we go down to 1%, if we're being honest. And there are a bunch of different scenarios in which we can help you financially with the sale in a way that makes sense for both of us. Whether that's buying a home and selling another and covering your moving expenses, or just lowering the commission rate, uh, or doing a few other different things. Uh, We have the creativity and the solutions and the marketing to get your home in front of the people that are actually buying right now that are ready, willing, and able. And I think that's what's needed to sell a home in this market. Of course, there are other things I can touch on, but those are the big ones. So if you'd like more information on what we're offering and and you'd like to discuss working together with me personally, my number is 843-800-0065, 843-800-0065, or go to listingsincharleston.com. That's listingsincharleston.com. Thanks a lot, Charleston, and enjoy your weekend. Thanks for listening to the Brian Beatty Real Estate Show on the Big Talker 1250 WTMN. Join us for another edition of the Brian Beatty Real Estate Show. Contact Brian Beatty online at listingsincharleston.com. That's listingsincharleston.com. Or call him at 843-888-0065. That's 843-888-0065.